Hi, I'm Rebecca Shelby. I am here to vent. Okay, so, so um, damn, so a house full of women. Um, like, we usually hear that from, like, boys' point of view all the time. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We hear that from. What is a house full of women from a woman's point of view? One thing you, one thing I'll say this because there's a lot of empowerment, mm -hmm. like being a girl, being raised by strong women, mm -hmm. but there's also a lot of, um, I don't want to say like, like there's a lot of, um, like one thing, like there's this pros and cons to everything, right? Mm -hmm. So being that I lived in a house full of women, like. I didn't fully understand, like, the caddy shit, mm -hmm. feel me? Because I lived in a house full of women who figured it out. That and we're all family, so maybe that's why I was different. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. But, family like, do caddy shit all the time. Yeah, true. But, yeah, so I wasn't really, like, accustomed to that. So when females first started getting caddy with me, I kind of was like, pussy, like, why? Like, why are they acting like that toward mm -hmm. me? But also, I kind of learned, like, girl code. Like, I knew I didn't want to be around no bitches that wasn't going to have my back. Mm -hmm. Like, I knew, like, off rip, like, yo, like, us females, we got it harder than dudes do. Mm -hmm. So we are better off sticking together than not. Feel me? So, like, it's it's really, it's it's different. You got to spoil the loyalty. Yeah. So, um, okay, so, I mean... That is an absolute disability outside, would you say? Mm -hmm. Because you expect that off the rip from a lot of people. Exactly. And just to Which get, is why I said it's mm -hmm. empowerment, but it has this... Uh, yeah, okay. Then. Um, since you've been outside, how was the percentage of people, um, woman loyalty that you said you would see? Like, you know, like, I, what, what is the benefit of the doubt? Like, if you had to quantify it in a number, like, a 50% chance this bitch might be real or she might be fake. Like, what's the, what, what, what's, what's the number you would, you would give it? I put it like this. I got my same five friends mm -hmm. since I was nine years old. Mm -hmm. So, that's me going through elementary school, middle school, high school, college, everything, like, all through life. And I had the same five friends from that same period of my life. Like, I have acquaintances and stuff I met on the way. But, like, as far as friends, mm -hmm. like, I don't have... And that's not because I never tried to have friends longer than that. Not because I just wasn't interested. Like, literally, like, none of my friendships to this day with other females have lasted beyond... And how do you know it wasn't you? Um, probably was me. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> what would you say is your um thing you're down for with women, with other women? Mm. There's somebody watching this right now. She know what the fuck she did. <laughs> <laughs> somebody watching this right now. Um, I don't know because like any situation I've been in with like a girl that I thought was my friend, like. Like the the saying is true. Hoes is weird. <laughs> like bitches, bitches like these tripping. bitches is weirdos. Mm. Like and not for nothing. Like I've noticed like females that like from young like if they have a mom or like a sister, like an older sister, mm -hmm. like an older woman in a life that'll do anything for a nigga. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten, that's gonna be their perception on life. Mm -hmm. And being that I was raised by all women, mm -hmm. like, off rip, like, that doesn't feel me. So, yeah, for me, with, like, girls I consider my friends, it was always dudes. It was always guy problems. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. Bitches is weird.